What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike. And Join, and this video is sponsored by Naples Rib Company. They've been hosting your team's banquet for, hey, somewhere like 30 years. We have been getting one question a lot this fall, more than any other question, and that's, is football in Long Beach dying? Certainly uh, some reasons to be concerned as you look around at programs like Long Beach Poly dropping a JV team. But, uh, but there have been other red flags around the area, Julian. Yeah, you mentioned Long Beach Poly. I mean, that's the headliner. A storied program, a lot of NFL talent dropping their JV program. But you also have to go to Dominguez, who they can't even field some a lot of practices. They've been having trouble getting. They have a 30 to 40 guys in varsity. Well, and, you know, when we look around, we see other programs in our area. Compton Centennial has had to drop its non-league schedule. Um, teams like Cerritos and Downing Cavalry Chapel have had to cancel part of their seasons in recent years. Uh, but I do think that it's a little bit alarmist. I don't think there's anything that uh, alarming to me. When we look at the football numbers statewide, they went down last year from 100,200 to 97,000, about a drop of about 3,000 kids. 97,000 kids playing football in California is still 40,000 more than the next most popular sport, and it's actually more than basketball and baseball combined. Um, I think what Julian and I have talked about is maybe you're just seeing those kids in different places in our area yeah bosco st anthony two programs that have really been on the rise lately this year they're both going to have the biggest rosters they've ever had so that's definitely an encouraging sign and so if you think about it right there's less kids at poly and dominguez than there have been in years past but there's more kids at bosco and st anthony so it's not necessarily that those kids stop playing football you're just seeing them in a little bit different place we also have a brand new football program in St. Pius X St. Matthias Academy, which has an 11-man team for the first time in 21 years. And in our area, we've also seen with teams like Avalon, and I mentioned down in Calvary Chapel, the rise of the eight-man program. And if you look at those state participation numbers, eight-man football did go up a couple hundred people. So again, even in that loss of 3,000 players, some of those just went from an 11-man team to an eight-man team. They didn't stop playing football. So our conclusion, no. Football is not dying in Long Beach. But ever-changing, and, you know, we're going to see different schools. Maybe their attendance, different years, it could be different. It's just... Exactly. It's not dying, but it is changing, and I think we're going to see some uh, some more of those changes in the coming years. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Papalucci, who's one of the best places to eat on 2nd Street. Let us know what you think. We've uh, obviously got a lot of different sides to this issue. We're free to engage in the conversation at PT Gazette Sports on Twitter or Press Telegram Gazette Sports on Facebook. Let us know what you think the state is football in Long Beach.